Hello friends, I welcome all of you to this channel. We have a lot of breaking news this evening and it is my pleasure to report the latest updates to you and everyone who chances upon this video. As we speaking at this moment, Iran has unleashed a salvo of um, ballistic missiles against the state of Israel. We understand that 180 ballistic missiles have been fired from Iran and because these are hypersonic missiles they are going to travel within a distance within a speed of 11 to 12 minutes so it is expected that within 11 to 12 minutes these missiles will be arriving in the skies of Israel and Israel is also having their multi-layered um, um, anti-weapons system that is designed to counter these hypersonic and ballistic missiles. So topmost on the list, we have the Arrow system, we have the Arrow 3, we have the Arrow 2, we have the David Sling, and then the Iron Dome in the mid-tier. These are debris that have fallen from the interceptions that have occurred as a result of the various interception missiles that have been fired by the systems. This is a significant escalation and I think world powers should actually step up to try to calm the situation through diplomatic means um, because we are getting to the breaking point of this war. As it stands, this could engulf the whole region into a regional war and I don't think the world is prepared and ready for this aggression and escalation. Um, on the part of Iran, I think this is a direct symbol or is a symbolic gesture that they are sending to the state of Israel, trying to tell them that they are ready to fight with Israel headlong at any given point in time, whenever they think their interest is jeopardized and Israel should be held accountable for their aggression in the region. I also think that this is, um, should I say, this is a retaliation for the killing of Ismail Haniyeh with an event that occurred in Tehran and then Saeed Hassan Nasrallah who was recently murdered in Beirut, the region. So I think we are witnessing severe in development in the region and um, all the powers that must be should actually come to the table to try and mediate peace. I don't think this conflagration should be allowed to continue on this trajectory because this could actually bring the whole region to a regional war and I don't think it will be in the best interest of any of the warring parties to keep on pursuing this um, nuclear pursuit. That notwithstanding, I think Israel is also going to retaliate to this strike. We can recall that on the 13th of April 2024, Iran launched a similar attack against the state of Israel. However, Joe Biden, President of the United States, prompted the, the Prime Minister of Israel not to strike back aggressively against the Iranians. And I think that actually prevented Israel from going full scale against the state of Iran. Now that Iran has attacked Israel the second time, I think both countries have crossed the Rubicon and Israel will try to retaliate in a significant way. This is an unprecedented development and I think Israel will definitely retaliate to this unprecedented attack that Iran has staged against it. This is a breach of Israeli sovereignty. And I think based on the dynamics and protocols of war, Israel will certainly respond in a way that will make Iran understand and know that Israel is not an enemy or a country to be played with. That notwithstanding, I think it took a short time for Iran to actually build up this attack against the state of Israel. The attack actually came at a very rapid time, 
giving Israel little to no time at all to inform its citizens to run into bomb shelters for their safety. However, the alert systems actually did work today. There were a lot of announcements and sirens blaring all over the cities and towns of Israel. I think the citizens also responded rapidly to the directions that were given by the home front department. So a lot of people were able to run into their safe rooms and bomb shelters. And I think to a large extent that is the reason why we haven't had much news about casualties from the fallout of this missile launch. All in all, I think there is still a lot to be discussed between Iran and, and Israel. Let's see how it pans out in the end.